Hi guys, I was chatting with one of you yesterday and I was asked to share how to implement a very simple functionality that will uh, prompt user with a dialog window with the question, are you sure you want to delete this? And I'm going to record this video to uh, show you how to, how to do that, how to use UI alert controller to prompt user with the question, are you sure you want to delete this? And when user clicks on OK button or Yes button, we will call delete uh, function. And if user cancels, we'll simply dismiss uh, the uh, UI alert uh, dialog. And if you check my Swift developer blog website, on the right side panel here, I have find videos. And if you look for UI alert controller, you'll have 18 different blog posts that mention it. And the very first one is how to implement UI alert controller with two buttons and UI text field on it. And there is uh, how to create UI alert controller with OK and cancel button. And there is also a very interesting example. I have a UI table view row action. And if you go there, uh, this example shows how to use table view and uh, you can have multiple rows. And when you swipe, uh, it will um, offer you two options, delete and share. If you choose share, it will have this nice action sheet. And if you choose delete, it will uh, call a code that, um, you can use for delete uh, function for that specific row. Uh, you, you have a look at this code example and uh, I think this is very interesting. But as promised in this video, I'm going to share with you how to uh, implement a very, very basic feature. Uh, we will have a text field and when user clicks on delete button, we will prompt user with the uh, dialog window that will ask, are you sure you want to delete this? Okay, so I will um, uh, show you how it works quickly. So I'm running my application. Here we go, my application is up and running. So I type something and then I have delete button, click on it. And here's we have a confirmation uh, dialog. Are you sure you want to delete this? Cancel will dismiss. And if I click on OK, it will clear the text. But um, I'm calling delete function, which can do whatever you want, clear the text or send the HTTP request to your server. OK, so I'm stopping this and I will um, create a new project, file new um, project. And that's going to be single view app. And I will call it, are you sure? And I will create it on desktop. Okay, so um, we will uh, go to main storyboard first. And here uh, we will uh, create a text field. I will uh, go to the objects library and search for text. And I have a text field here. I will put it and I will stretch it to, from side to side. Now I will look for the button. I'll take the button positioned in the center and I will also stretch it a little bit and I'll put it in the center. Okay, so I'll click on text field and I'll switch to attributes inspector here and I will change the placeholder of this text to type something so that we have a visual here. And the button, I will customize it a little bit by changing its background. I'll choose a red color as a background and I'll choose tint uh, white color. Okay, so almost done. I will reset constraints to suggested ones. So I'll select view controller and click on this little button here, resolve auto layout issues. So I'll reset to suggested constraints and then I can preview it. We have now a portrait orientation and I'll choose the landscape. Okay, everything is looking nice. Okay, so I will uh, go to a view controller and edit this. For that, I will choose the view controller uh, on this panel, hide the left side panel and then click on this button to open assistant editor with the two circles. Okay, and I have my view controller here on the left side and I have my 
user interface on the right side. The first thing that I want to do, I want to create outlets. So I'll select text field, click on it, drag and drop to view controller and release it. And this will be an outlet. It's a connection type outlet. I'll um, call it my text field. Okay, we have a connection with the text field and I will click on the button, select the button, then uh, hold control button, click, drag and drop it here. And I will choose connection action. So that will be a function that will be called and I'll call it a delete button tapped. Okay, I'll click on OK to create this function. Okay, so now when user clicks on tab on a uh, on a button, let's actually change its text while the button is selected. I will call it delete. I'll change the label of this button while the attributes inspector is selected here. This blue button. I'll change the label of the button. Okay, so now um, when the delete a function is called we want to present user with UI alert controller and you can copy, you can go uh, into any of these examples that I have with UI alert. Let me search for this with two button and a text field. We can come here and copy uh, the source code from here. So for example, here we're declaring alert message and then we're creating OK button and then cancel button and then we are adding these two actions. So let me copy this one, for example, and go back to my code and paste it here. So the first line is to declare alert message. So that is uh, the alert controller has uh, some uh, arguments and uh, alert title um, is what is displayed on the top. We will change that to Confirm, please. I'm running out of battery, but I think I'll be on time. Confirm, confirm, please. And the message here we will change to Are you sure you want to delete this? Okay. And the preferred style, leave it as alert. Okay. And here we have our first button. It's OK button. Um, we can call it uh, the, the, the title of the button is OK or we can change it to yes. And once this button is clicked, the code inside of this curly brackets is uh, triggered. So this action void is important. Leave it as is. But this text we can delete and we will call um, a function from this uh, place and that function will be to call a delete uh, delete uh, this let's say delete this okay we're going to create this function and then we have accept button when accept I mean cancel button when cancel button is, uh, is tapped a code within this curly brackets is uh, triggered and we don't do anything here uh, other than printing cancel button tapped. Then we uh, add the OK button to the dialog message here and then we add cancel button to the dialog message. OK, and let's go back to my um, blog post. I'll open the code here and the final message is we need to present the dialog window. So I'll copy this and then I'll paste it here. So we are presenting the dialog uh, to the user. So now we need to create this delete uh, function. So I will uh, go a, a little bit below here and I'll create a func with delete this as a name. And uh, in the body of this function, I will refer to the text field that we have created. This is the um, outlet connection that we have. And I'll paste it here. And I will refer to text. 
equals empty but again this is a very simple implementation I'm, I'm simply clearing the content of the text field but here you can do whatever you want you can uh, clear the label or you can uh, call another function or you can send a HTTP request to uh, server side and receive response I will also print out something like uh, print delete function is called now let's call it delete record something nicer and now I will change it okay so I hope uh, this is it for uh, this uh, example let's just click uh, run it and see if it works okay my application is up and running I have um, type something as a placeholder text I type something here and I click on delete and I have a confirmation uh, dialog please uh, confirm please are you sure you want to delete this cancel will dismiss and when I click on uh, uh, yes it will clear the text and if I look into my console here the output OK button is stopped delete function is called so this is it uh, it's working um, I will publish this video shortly and if you have questions please comment below